on the insert tab in the link panel is the best linking tool of all, the link Revit tool. Now what I've got is a site file that I'm going to link in. And just like in linking in an AutoCAD file, we have a couple options for our positioning. By default, it's set to center to center again, which can be helpful when you're placing a building in a site. In this case, I've already placed my building in a site and I've set up shared coordinates, which we'll go over in another tutorial. So I'm going to bring in this file as shared coordinates and it's going to snap into place where it needs to go, where I've already placed my building in my site file. If I was placing in an MEP file or a structural file, I would use origin to origin. And then I also have these options when, when placing my files manually by origin, by base point, or by center. So let's go ahead and import this file. Now, what this is telling me is that I do indeed have some other files that are linked into my site file, but they're set to overlay in those files, so they're not going to show up in this one, and we're going to not have any circular references going on. And voila, it's magically snapped into place. There you have it.